Hi guys, welcome to my very first YouTube video. If you're watching this, I finally got around to editing this video. I had a ton of footage and somehow still not enough footage and half of it was completely blurry. So I'm going to try my best to make this a little bit entertaining while still be informative about what I used. Just a disclaimer, you are in for some really bad editing. So I really appreciate you if you stick around for the full video. Thanks so much for watching. Majority of the parts all came in kind of one shipment or I just had them accumulating by the door. My dad was so mad at me because I was just leaving those packages there while I waited for them all to come. Also, if you talk about how ashy I am at any point in this video, you are anti-black. I was having really good luck that day because my new egg package came as I was bringing everything upstairs. So this was my AIO. I got the NCXT Kraken Z73. That's the 360 millimeter radiator. I also got one 120 millimeter fans and two 140 millimeter fans. For my GPU, I got a Gigabyte 3070 and I was super lucky with this because I ordered it and then the very next day, I saw that the price went down 20 bucks so I canceled the order and reordered it. So that just goes to show my luck. Amazon knows they did not have to put this much safety packaging into the package because boom, look what was in there. A fan and some RAM. Well, because I got the NCXT AIO cooler, I also just wanted to make sure that I got the same case fans because I really liked how it looked together. I was really worried about how much RAM I would have. I did go with the T4s because they had really good reviews and I got 32 gigabytes because I felt like it would be enough for me. This computer is predominantly going to be streaming, editing, and gaming. So I got a 12 core processor, a Ryzen 5900X to make sure that I had enough power. I was lucky with the CPU because the price went down the day after I ordered it. So I canceled it and saved like 60 bucks. And I know what you guys are thinking, why did you get a B550 motherboard instead of a B70 motherboard if you're going to be doing all of this? I was working within a budget, okay? Listen, I'm going to put prices up at the end, but this board had everything I wanted and that was good enough for me. I can't say much about the power supply other than I think I needed only 750 minimum and I knew that I wanted it fully modular. I just thought that Corsair would be the safe way to go. I read really good reviews about Crucial and their NVMe, so I got one terabyte and a two terabyte. Now we have unpacked everything, so let's get into prepping our motherboard. I intentionally took off two of my nails so that I could make sure that I could properly handle this CPU. I was really nervous about it. It is very expensive. Uh, so is the GPU, but I was very nervous about the Ryzen because as some of you may know, this is really delicate. So one fatal flaw I made was having caffeine before I started handling this. So you can see I'm sweating and I start shaking as soon as I start picking it up. That's because I started having a coffee crash mixed with my adrenaline. It was a no-go. So we're going to come back after I've installed it. Right about here, I realized that my screwdriver was not going to fit in any of these motherboard screws. So we are in for a commercial break while I get my nails done and get the correct size screwdriver. chose this big kit because there was another one and it had a lot more stuff but I already had the wristband and I didn't think that I needed the other things that was in it. If you were planning on building a computer this should be the number one thing on your list because I honestly did not think of it. I thought I had a screwdriver so I would be fine. This fit for every screw on the case and the motherboard. Here I am installing the NVMEs. I'm not gonna give you pointers on how to install everything on the motherboard because like I said, this build was hell and a half. There are a ton of better versed people that are going to be able to give you more information if that's what you're looking for. As of now, just enjoy the aesthetics and have a little fun. And 
had my eye on this case for about a year. It definitely was more of a splurge item. I could have gotten a cheaper case, but this is my first PC build. I wanted to get what I wanted. So I did. You know what? If I had not gotten this case, I probably would have stayed within budget. <laughs> If you made it this far in the video, I applaud you, but it's going to get 10 times worse. The video quality is going to go down. You're not going to know what's going on because I don't know what's going on. And around this time, I kind of just forgot to record because I was stressing out so much. A, trying to get the NZXT fans to hook up together, wondering if I had enough RGB connectors. I did, but you would not have known that being a first time PC builder. B, I also could not figure out intake from exhaust. So I ended up just leaving the front panel off of the entire computer. And to this day, it's been like a month. I still haven't put that thing back on, but I hope you're ready for what's in store. The case is pretty easy to take apart. They give you a little manual. There are some do's and don'ts, but I just started by taking off the glass and then I went behind and took off the panel. It does come with little bits and pieces, screws, uh, so that you can screw in your motherboard and whatnot. You also have a couple of wires down below because it has a USB-C connector, which is one of the features that I definitely wanted, and two USB connectors. So since the case was delivered on a different day, the only thing that I did was install the Ryzen CPU. So you just saw me putting in the RAM. Now I'm taking off the AIO. So this does come with thermal paste. I did end up buying additional thermal paste just in case because I wasn't sure if this thermal paste was graded for the 5900X. I ended up just leaving the thermal paste on. It, I haven't run into a problem. The highest temperature that I've reached has been about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, so I would say it's working pretty well, but everyone is different. Don't take my word for it. The case does come with a GPU riser. Here I am just installing those 140 millimeter fans into the back of the case. I kid you not, I watched like four different videos, but I was able to get all of the NZXT fans connected. That was after running to Best Buy, buying Corsair fans because I was just so done and then realizing that it was the same exact thing. But I was able to get all of the RGB working correctly, so I was just completely happy. This GPU was the most expensive part of this entire build. And after playing with it for about a month, month and a half, I'm completely happy. Now, I was a little worried that I would break it, but not as much as the CPU. So I was very gentle with it, putting it in, but I didn't have any problems with it. It clicked right in and everything went smoothly. Now, call me crazy, call me what you want, but if you play Sims, you know what's going on. Yes, I did buy a four terabyte hard drive specifically and only specifically for the Sims. I put this entire game on that. <laughs> If I ever decide to build another computer, cable management and hooking this shit up to a motherboard might be the biggest deterrent ever in life. But I did it all by myself. With the help of eight YouTube videos, you too can be a woman in STEM. All right, so that's enough of that. Now let's get into my setup. I just recently moved so I did have to go out and buy furniture so I just took the cardboard covering off of the tabletop and now I'm putting my monitor up. This is a Dell 32 inch FreeSync gaming monitor and when you find out how much money I spent on this you too will have a heart attack. Um, halfway throughout this unboxing my mom wanted to come in so I'm gonna cut that part out but it was very easy to set up and I absolutely love the monitor. It did come out a little bit bright. I prefer my electronics bright, so I didn't adjust it. Uh, but as you know, Windows does come with a like a nightlight sort of mode. So it really doesn't hurt my eyes and it's big enough for me to see without my glasses. So I get really happy about that. Now, my mom did make fun of me. And honestly, I'm not that blind, but it's what's comfortable for me, okay? It's comfortable for me. Once again, you talk about my ashiness, you are anti-black. Now, I know that you think that you are in for a treat, that this is going to be the best setup you ever saw, but I forgot to budget for a mouse, 
a keyboard and a chair. Luckily, I had a mouse <laughs> and my friend bought me a gaming mouse and I did go out and buy myself some headphones because there was no speaker, but I still don't have a chair. <laughs> I'm going to keep posting when I buy new stuff for my setup. So you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. That's probably where I'm going to be posting that the most. And you can see everything cool that I bought. Other than that, here are the headphones that I bought. They are Logitech Pro X's. I thought they were cute. The Best Buy guy recommended them to me and they sound great. The only thing is that they cut out s's c's and x's and i guess i have to play with the settings a little bit but i will fix it you guys probably thought i had a lisp this whole video i do not have a lisp it's the headset but as for pricing here we go here we go here we go well, all of these prices, I believe, are going to be after tax. Starting with the CPU, I paid initially $419 for it, but then I canceled it and reordered it for $366. Moving on to the CPU cooler, the NVXT Kraken Z73, I paid $323 after shipping. The NZXT case fans, the 140 millimeter ones, were $64. That was for two of them with the controller, and I got a 120 millimeter one for $25. My GPU, the Gigabyte 3070, was initially $587, but I ended up canceling it and reordering it for $561. I know it's petty, but if I could save the 20 bucks, I was saving the 20 bucks. My case, the Height Y60, ran about $190. That was after a 10% coupon. I did get a MSI B550 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi motherboard. That was $189. The two crucial NVMEs, the 2TB was 122 and the 1TB was 69. The Corsair power supply was 158 and the RAM was 32GB, $78. This pricing does not include the furniture that I purchased. I won't be including that, but I will be including the Dell monitor, which in total was $370, and the Logitech Pro X headphones, which looks like they were about $105. In total, I paid about $2,600 for the PC and additions. I will be doing some additional upgrades. Like I said, you can follow me on Instagram and you'll be able to see a little bit more. The PC works for my needs and handles the games that I like to play. I will be uploading some games probably tomorrow or a couple of days after. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like. I'd also really appreciate any suggestions down below for accessories or any upgrades that I can do to my computer. I am looking out. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.